National Anthem is a love story. It's also a Western for the new world. It's told through the eyes and the experience of Dylan, who's a 21-year-old construction worker in rural New Mexico. He's offered a job working at the House of Splendor, which is a homestead built by a group of queer rodeo performers and ranchers. For the first time, he's able to discover himself and to fall in love. My father was in the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association, so I grew up around the rodeos. I'm from Colorado originally. You know, there's such a magnetism to the rodeo and it really brings this mythological side of America out into the open air. And as I grew older, I came to understand just how patriarchal and homophobic the mainstream rodeo can be. Then I discovered that there's a whole subculture of people just like me who love Western culture and want to be part of the rodeo, but don't feel welcome in that mainstream circuit. So that's where it came from. One of my very favorite music videos I made is for Troy Sivan. It's called Angel Baby. I feel that that truly captures the essence of tenderness and love and belonging that queer communities really exude and the safe spaces that we create and have been creating since the dawn of time. Shooting on film is very important to me. I really believe in the emotional nuance and the colors and tones that film can create in that there is such an emotional depth that film brings that Troy really appreciates, so he really encouraged that and fought for us to do that. The short that means a lot to me is Connected. Um, it's It was my first time writing and directing a short, and it's with Pamela Anderson. It's uh, narrated by Jane Fonda. I see Connected as a coming-of-age film for a woman who's, you know, in middle age. I think it's never too late to, to discover yourself and find new layers within us. I have been a huge fan of Pamela since I was, as long as I can remember. So I really wrote this for her and she welcomed it with open arms. I feel connected. Jane really understood the satire in it for the wellness community. You know, this was a few years ago, so it was definitely ahead of some of the commentary that's come out around that. So Jane is brilliant and just such an icon. You are the shimmering possibility of wholeness.